Back for another beach clean adventure and uh, I'm a little delayed this week in my videos because we had a blizzard earlier this week and obviously blizzard conditions can be a little tricky for beach cleaning. But thankfully today it's uh, it's cold but it's sunny for now and uh, there's not much wind. That's been the problem the last few days since the storm ended. It's just been too windy and too cold to really beach clean without yeah, really kind of putting yourself in a dangerous position uh, with frostbite and that sort of stuff. You do have to be careful this time of year. Uh, speaking of dangerous positions, as you can see by this absolutely beautiful view, I am uh, on like, I don't know, 75, 100 foot cliff, <laughs> dune cliff, doing some beach cleaning today. Well, not so much doing beach cleaning up here, but um, I'm going to head down to the uh, beach side of this cove, this lovely cove here, and see how much trash I can get. Um, it doesn't look too snowy up here, I'm not sure why. We got like a foot of snow in this blizzard the other day. And it, in fact, if you go into the town where I live, it's pretty buried. But, uh, and it's, it's also been cold, like not much of this has melted. I think my car thermometer was saying that it was about 29 degrees, which for anybody who lives farther north, might not seem like a lot, but uh, when you live near the ocean and there's a lot of humidity, uh, the air is like mo moister. I, I feel like it, it feels much colder than if the air is dry, so. Uh, but again, it's it's not windy today, which is awesome. And uh, the sun's out for now, so. Yeah, we're gonna try to do some cleaning before it gets uh, the sun. It's supposed to be cloudy later and then it will get chilly quick, so yeah. Uh, gear up as you can see I'm in my full winter gear usually I'm in like a sweatshirt but it's so cold uh, I even have you know my ears covered and uh, yeah let's see what we can find getting trash Well, that was certainly the uh, interesting clean. As you can see here, I got quite a bit. I'll probably wind up with like nine, 10 pounds of trash easy. Actually, there's an item at the end I wanna show you, which will at least double the <laughs> weight that I've collected here. But yeah, really interesting. I mean, as you can see from the background, I, we really did get like a foot of snow, but for some reason along the shore, I don't know if it's uh, obviously right along the shore, the tides come in and they, clear out the ice and snow so you you're left with beach which is pretty hard it's like frozen still I'm barely making footprints in it which means it's cold because it is it is wet otherwise but yeah these hillsides are actually pretty snow free which is good because I've had to sort of climb up and down them as you saw from earlier in this video but yeah I mean a lot of the same stuff that I find beach cleaning normally and a lot of this is year-round trash some of it is certainly stuff that I expect to find but others you know whenever there's a big storm you wind up with trash that is running down from street side places right stuff that normally wouldn't be at the beach so 
it's good to find that stuff and pick it up because a lot of people they think that beach cleaning is just for the summer but obviously as I can show you now while some of these items are in fact summertime items uh, many more of them have nothing to do with summer or the beach and again they just they're either dumped here or they just run off from sto through storm drains or you know tumbling down cliff sides all sorts of other methods and, and paths to get here really but yeah some of the standard things I found obviously were things like bottle caps which we find year-round beach cleaning that's not surprising at all I've done bottle cap beach clean videos and I've done beach clean videos on much of this stuff at this point shotgun shells not surprising to find these these are pretty common I think when I did the shotgun shell video a few weeks ago I found like 40 or 50 maybe even more I don't remember but there's a ton of these that again people just leave behind um, a lot of toys which are in fact left over from the summer so these are obviously good to snag right because they're toys over the summer but now they're just plastic pieces that are gonna break down into more plastic pieces and you know just google ocean plastic pollution and see what that's doing to different you know creatures and, and animals and it's not great so it's good to pick up this stuff where you find it obviously I was actually surprised by some of the trash too I found a lot of shoes or flip-flop sandals. I have a few of them. Again, very summer-like stuff as opposed to some of these other items. Um, but yeah, bottles, um, bags, half bottles, decapitated bottles, all that typical stuff. I mean, look at this. This is a real summer drink thing, right? This is one of those juicy squeezer things, so. A lot of stuff like that. And then in terms of abnormal type stuff, I found a ton of this bubble wrap, so if you need bubble wrap for the holiday season, you know who to come to. How does bubble wrap get here, right? Um, probably runs off from other sources, so. Yeah, the beach needs cleaning year round, and that leads me to the biggest out of context piece, which is this bad boy. <laughs> which is gonna be not so fun to haul back, but it's important to do so, because this is all plastic, and it's like, I don't know, at least five or six pounds, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, you know, interesting out here with different types of winter post-blizzard trash, and hopefully next week it's a little little less cold, uh, though we are in winter, so. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of stuff, uh, subscribe, hit the bell, you'll get announcements. It's been great. Uh, hopefully we'll have another video before the end of the year, um, but that's always weather pending, so. Yeah, thanks for joining, checking out some of these strange beach clean treasures, and until next week, stay safe, be well, and, uh, Hope to see you on the beach.